says, well, you're right, you can't keep your passport. So we'll give you a passport back and then we'll keep you. He says, oh, keep passport, pal, and I'll sort you out. <laughs> so basically, they just do what they want in Singapore, don't they? But what happened with you, it's though? You, you did, yours was something to do with tax, wasn't it? Because you had a business out there, didn't you, obviously? And you were employing a lot of people. You were doing piping, weren't you? Underground piping, weren't you? No, sir. I was working on all my own. I tried pulling wool out of it. I tried pulling wool out of it, it didn't work. You tried to pull wool out of it, sing it. Yeah, but can't you just hide behind lawyers and stuff like that, like people we know do over here when they have problems like that? You can't do it over in Singapore, can you? Well, the argument was that I earned the money out in the middle of South China City, which went off Singapore land. Right. And what did they say? Well, my bank account, my business bank account, was in Singapore, but HSBC. Oh. And what did HSBC, didn't you get your 750 back? There's no HSBC transfer. No. Hong Kong, Shanghai, banking company. Is that what HSBC stands for? Yeah. I didn't know that. Well, not a lot of people do. I, I, my original credit card was from China when I was in China and I opened a bank account there, HSBC. When I came to England, I went to Dorno in Sheffield. I put my card on account so I said I need a grand out of that. So up to cars, done it by both come back and said, uh, I'm coming in this room, I went in this room and said, one of the things, this is a forgery, this credit card. I said, well, for me, because I've never seen my wife before, because it was original, I'm from China. They're, they're thinking I've made it up. This is all of them. But when they checked the bank account, they never seen it. They all got through to that. He said, I'm sorry, pal. He said, they would never have. There's an original bank card from HSBC coming to this bank before. Ah, yeah. oh, you mean from Singapore? So HSBC Bank means Hong Kong Shanghai Banking Company. Well, I didn't know that, Bunny. Hong, Hong Kong Shanghai Banking Company. I didn't know that, mate. I didn't know that. Want to learn something every day, don't Anyway, I used to be one of my two pulls, and all I used to train these pals. Yeah, you've trained me actually. Yeah, we did some bits and bobs, didn't we? I'm still doing a few bits and bobs now, I'm mainly trying to shift weight to get down to 14 stone 4 so me and little Spencer Fearing can have a... That, that, that always felt black, 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 white, 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 yeah, you you are good. You know what you know what you're on with, Bunny. I will give you your dues. You know what you're on with. Then it's where it's due, Russ. Yeah, you, you obviously you've done it all your life. How old are you now, Bunny? I am 57. You're Dennis's age, aren't you? Yeah, yeah, same. Mate. Yeah. 57. Pitch me an athlete, Olympic athlete, 21. Yeah. Robin Reed will bite me up on that one. You yeah. will bite me up on that you one. You did uh, stomach with Robin, didn't you? Because he likes to show his abs off, doesn't he? He's got a wicked physique on him for his age, hasn't he? Robin, off. He, he works at it though, doesn't he? He puts the effort in, doesn't he? Yeah, he's, uh, he puts the, he, he don't have a break, he's like me, he's week in, week out. He's the way of life, you can't, you can't, we can't say, oh, I'm gonna have a couple of weeks off, or else we drop off, we, we, we like to keep on top. Yeah. My mate, my mate said to me over there, fucking hell mate, I'm fucking going for it here in the corner, aren't they? And I was like old school talking, you know, and he said, we're going all over here, so I was trying to get ripped for all over there. I said, you know, when I sit down for my Christmas dinner, I'm ripped. And I'm, I'm ripped right until next Christmas dinner. And Christmas after that, and Christmas after that. It's all year round, we don't. Yeah. He's not, he's not dropping off and having two or three weeks off. What's that all about? Yeah. Well, it's the way of life for you, isn't it? And I were a boxer, if I were a boxer, I'd train even harder. Yeah. Because you've got more time. Yeah, I'd even, oh, 
I've got to get I have to go to work. I've got kids to see to. I've got, and I still train every day. You know, what Robin said to me once. He said, "You know what? One of the main secrets is, is Russell says, what's that?" He says, daily intake of food. He says, people eat too much. He says, and Robin eats, he's into that Thai food, isn't he? He likes all oh, that right. kind of food. And he's a big vegetable fan as well, isn't he? And he, yeah, like, Robin like says, as like human... Pardon? Seafood and veg, you like. Yeah. He says, as human beings, we eat too much. So if we're going to eat too much, why don't we eat too much at right food instead of wrong food? No. Uh, I'll tell the one now, Russ. Uh, when you, when you, when I trained you, and I trained you, eh? I was twelve stone two. You oh, yeah. me now. Yeah, twelve stone two. You haven't. Well, have you got that big then for twelve stone two? Because your arms are massive, aren't they? It's, it's not. Everybody thinks I'm massive. I'm not. It's because it's it's uh, muscle separation. What I've got. It's a small muscle. What's lean and. It can look good on a camera, it can't look massive, but it's not. It's just muscle separation and it, yeah. it looks that way. But like I'm yeah. saying today, I was 12 stone 1, 12 stone 2. Yeah. They haven't seen me for about a, a good, they haven't seen me for what? About a year, isn't it? Month. No, yeah, it, mate, yeah, yeah, it's about it. Oh, I saw you at uh, Dennis's show, didn't I? Last time I saw you at Dennis's show. Yeah, well, I'm, uh, I'm 14 stone 6 now. I didn't, you didn't come November 29th when you came one before, didn't you? Yeah, so I've seen you, I haven't seen you for about five months, then, have I? No, I was stuck. I was stuck in London. I can't get back to mm. that last one. Yeah, go on. What And what? since then, have you put weight on? Yeah, I'm 14 feet. So that's what I could do again. Then we're going to give you a call, Spencer. And get ready for you. Uh, but when I get... See, I'm having, I've stuck, I've got down, I'm under 15 and a half now, I was 16 too. It's took me four weeks, five weeks to knock eight pound off. Do you know what I mean? It's saying, you are what you eat. Yeah, yeah, well I have, I have to have, the food I have to have is just because of my band. I'm having problems, uh, I'm always yeah, being sick all the time. You are, you are, yeah, you are restricted, you regurgitate a lot, don't you? Look? You mean be sick, yeah, I do, yeah. yeah. So I'm having, uh them shakes, they don't fill me up, do they? So at middle at night, once my band's off and I eat chocolate, don't because it melts in my tummy. Or I have, I have beer. I shouldn't have beer if I'm training that hard, should I? So you can go out and put a good session and then eat wrong food, can't you? Well, that's why they don't look like Robin Reed, innit? <laughs> well, it doesn't work for Robin Reed, does it? Because he's still single. <laughs> So well, I'm single. I've been single. How long have I been single? I've been single. Yeah, Eight well. Years. Years. Maybe you're too choosy, bunny. Maybe you're too choosy. Oh, I ain't got time for a woman, mate. I, you know what it works? There's three bad sectors I don't like. You're always at work. You're always at gym. And you know what third one? What that text what you get off a woman? What, what kills me? Yeah. When the wages ain't gone in bank for that week, she takes the straight away. <laughs> wages ain't gone in. No, I don't have that problem myself as well. You don't go in while midnight, Thursday night. You take him there at five past twelve. Where's that going? In? What's it, what, where's she going to go anyway at five past twelve? <laughs> then no. Hmm. Yeah, well, in morning, love. Yeah. What do you think to the, you his current situation? Because uh, he pulled out that Monaco fight, didn't he, on day at fight? Well, uh, he picked an infection well, up, didn't I, he? Yeah, you, you, you could even see that you were all full up then. You, you got head full and fever. And what do you think's yeah. problem with, with, with obviously, you is health? Because there's always seems to be the problem with uh, infections and stuff like that. He, he, he picks, he tends to pick stuff up all the time, doesn't he? Flus or run down and stuff like that. Is it overtraining, Bunny, or is he eating wrong food? Because he, he, he was covered in spots at one point, wasn't he really bad? It's down to the defence mechanism, pal, isn't it? Some, uh, if you know somebody, I know, I work with lots of people, and I think, well, oh, they're always having time off, and it's because they're poorly, and I don't know, it's some people have got a better defence mechanism than others. Yeah, but you're very regimented, aren't you? So maybe maybe they're just not as regimented as you are, as driven, I don't know. You see, you'll be going to work in a bit, whatever you're doing today. I bet you arrive early, won't you? Never be late, mate. And, and anybody who wants to say traffic, 
the worst excuse going. What, they just got stuck in traffic? Poor excuse. Leave your house earlier in case you hit any traffic. If you don't hit any traffic, they can have an extra cup of tea when they get to you. Yes, yeah, so what's the problem? The one about... Yeah. He's got, he's got a new personal trainer now, he? he doesn't seem to be doing too bad with him, but... He's not working yeah. with Kerry Kays, is he, this time? No, he's, uh, he's got another kid in there. Yeah, young kid. I've had him on the channel. It's good to switch it now again. Um, but what what you've got to do is make sure when you train a muscle group, if you train his sh shoulders today, which is like Tuesday afternoon, early afternoon, next Tuesday, early afternoon, he wants to be doing it again. You can't keep next Tuesday when his shoulders are due for the train. To train in his back or his leg. You know, he's done more than seven days without training his shoulders are just they've got to keep that you got to, you can write down all day what you're gonna do in gym today. But next week, a week today, roughly at the same time, they wants to be doing the same muscle groups again. At the same time. Don't matter about the same time but same day. Yeah. That's why, do you know when I, when it, obviously I did all that jail, I know you've done jail, but I did a long, long time and Peter did. And when we did our jail, Peter had a good physique on him when he came out and I did. Is it cause we were eating the same meals at the same time? Because there's a lot of tuna in there in prison, because that's all you can get to in the tuna. And you're training at the same time. Is it because your body gets used to training and, and sleeping at the same time as well? Because like, you, your door's shut, isn't it, at 9 o'clock? Yeah, you get into a routine, don't you? And yeah. Your body fat, well, out here, it's it to miss. It's like I've got uh, I've got a good something for Dennis in about twenty minutes, so I can't go meet that guy we're training with today. So that's no good. And then tomorrow, I've got some on. You've got to be punctual, mate. You've I've got, got to be, yeah. You've got to be regimental on it. You've got to say, hey, it's this time of day. It's shoulders. And if somebody says, now let's do his back today, there's no way you can hold a gun at my head. I'm not doing my back. I'm doing my shoulders. My shoulders need doing today. It's a must. Yeah. So you'll do your shoulders today instead of... You'll drop everything to do that. Everything, even family commitments and all that. Well, I did it this morning, mate, at 7 o'clock. Before before family got out of bed, before my gaffer wanted me doing out, I did I do it in my time, early in the morning. Yeah. I work all night, don't I? So yeah. When I finished work, which I finished a bit early, I was able to come home, get a few hours sleep. Anybody was not getting in while three in the morning, he stayed in the gym four hours later. No, they not. Yeah. Will, a, will a professional boxer go to bed within three or four hours? Have somebody walk to his room to get him up, get him to the gym, and he's not there, he's not in his bedroom. Because that'd be me, I wouldn't be in the bedroom, I'd be at gym waiting for that ball. Yeah, well, I'll, 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 that's how we, that's how they work it though, when Peter does his camps, isn't it? Like, I'm here, Khan, right? He's tucked at gym and he fetched back and he has a chef and everything, done he? In his suite and all that. It's all done, it's all laid on for you, isn't it, when you're a top athlete, isn't it? Well, it's all gets all laid on for them. They get checked and carried, and before they know it, they start losing tight. Do you think that's what the problem is? A lot of these fighters, the pampered too much and over pampered. Well, I, I watch them all, and I think, hey, how come it's only two rounds? He's blowing out his ass. You see, you know, when I brought you on board to work with Peter and you, I watched for them first few week. You never said a word. And you were studying every fighter, and you got to know all the patterns, didn't you? What the moods what they were like. For instance, Savannah Marshall, she walks about and doesn't say a word to anybody, but smiles and just doesn't send out. But then when she sets about punch bag, it's like bang, 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 bang. She, 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 she deals with. She's different to say you. Then again, you don't speak, does it? But then you have other fighters who speak. But all the personalities are all different, aren't they? And I think that trainers and strength and conditioning guys they're sometimes like like a social worker aren't they do you think I don't, you, you're like a social worker you come you, you're always after because at night time we're all together when training's finished and, and yeah. we're all in camp and 
And don't forget, there's no smoking, there's no drinking, there's no... They just know that they're getting up to crack a dawn to train again. It's, it's, to get a smile out of people at night behind closed doors is difficult. Is you it? To go in his, you would be in his room, shut his door. You won't see him again unless he came out to go to the toilet. Savannah, very similar. You go in a room, shut the door. Because they're all knackered, aren't they? We would only bump into each other in corridors when we were going to the toilet or when we were going downstairs to make to show for. But David, Cassius, and even young Peter Fury, he were weird, weren't they? He, yeah. he stayed in camp and I got him training. Uh, we seem to be a bit, uh, as to say, we, we know how to socialise it, but we... Some people just don't want to. Savannah, Savannah and you, got, don't forget they've got one face, somebody wanting to smash the face in. So mm. they, they, they're, not, they, they're not in the same mood as it. It's easy for me. Yeah. To say, well, it's easy. I know I ain't got to get in ring next week. And have, some, have somebody, and you here, getting these blokes from America, you paid money to get in that ring and knock him out. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Peter Payne's sparring partners' bonuses to clip them, yeah. Look, and, and there were a strict rule with Peter. You don't mess about, you don't hang back. You get in yeah. that thing and kill him. Go, go to kill him. Yeah, Peter used to set sparring partners on you. He said, I want to see you on deck. Yeah, he used, to, he used to say, go in there, mate, and knock him out. Yeah. And I must admit, in my camp, you know yourself, I was there nine weeks. Mm. And I, still, I saw three or four big six-foot-plus guys twice and three times a week in that nine week to get in that ring and knock him out and get in. Yeah, he does. He never knocked that, he never knocked none of them out at all. Yeah. I don't know what it were with you, he just I am not no to do with me boxing so I do to just give quarter armor for it but Do you think you do you think you should throw his hand his right hand more uh Bonnie? I've only seen him throw it two or three times and it's been dangerous every time he has. I don't know why he done because he's bleeding dangerous when he does. Yeah. You think it's a mentalist aspect? A feeling that if he throws it, he's a bit more vulnerable to getting accounted. You think it could be that? Well, no. I'd love to know. I'd love to sit down with him and, and say, why, why do you not throw your right hand? I'd love to know why because... <laughs> I, don't think Peter, I don't think Peter put, will be putting it to like that. I don't think, I think they'll be, uh, he'll be putting it to him a little bit differently when he got him home after that Povetkin fight. Because well, I think he had Povetkin on one point in one at rounds, didn't he? Yeah, I'm, I've been watching uh, Peter's statements and his statuses and I've been watching a bit of you and I think you're going to start seeing that right hand. Ready. Yeah, well, he's, uh, I'm not going to say kid's name because it's not right, but I'll, 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 uh, I'll tell Peter to tell you, but he's dropped somebody uh, this week uh, who's world ranked. So maybe now the penny might have started to to drop a bit. Do you know what I mean? But but if he does, yeah. if he does, and he just starts throwing it, all right, and he starts banging people out, and he ends yeah. up getting a world title shot, I'd still be saying, why didn't you do that? That's why didn't you do it earlier? Yeah, why have you hold it back with it? Maybe he didn't want to say anything. I don't know. Maybe, we, I mean, I know I've known people just they've had, they've had, like Tyson is saying he was depressed and that, but he didn't want to say anything to anybody. It might be something in their heritage where they might not want to talk about things like that. Why? Why is? I don't know. I don't know. You know, they know they said once they rewind the Fury's face and watch if he gets to where he throws his right hand. Very dangerous, mate. A trainer once said to me, right, he said, Yui and Tyson's footwork, he said it's some best footwork and upper body movement he's seen since Ali. For big, for big, for big men. For big men, the body movement, and uh, he, he said it was second to none, some at best he's seen, like middleweights, top world class middleweights, Carlos Monzen and... Yeah, you don't see it, you think... Because we don't know a game like top trainers, do we, Bunny? Obviously, we're still... Well, he's brilliant at moving around. He's like Usain Bolt. 
Yeah, and, and then the sprints controls. that they do were backwards and stuff like that. They've got it uh, and all that side to side movement. That they've got that off to a T. And he, I know you, he gets a lot of stick, and I get a lot of stick for for backing him and Peter up. But when you know somebody, it's hard. But I've give you a stick as well. I mean, I've had Peter and Elmets at Montana, <laughs> and uh, but I think that Yui is there's a lot to work with, isn't there? And he's at a young age, only 25, but there's a lot to work with, isn't there? He's a method to peace, he's dead madness. He's a method to his madness, believe me, mate. He's he yeah. doing... I can't say that... We, we can't criticise it because Peter, he's thinking further afield. People yeah. want Peter, can, Peter wants peace. They want him to be next week world champion. Peter will think three or four years in front and yeah. Peter's on purpose. He's putting him in with you. Well, he's put him in with Povetkin, and, I've, and maybe that might have been a bit too early. I mean, I'd have thought you. Well, he's always worth people as tough as what you were facing when he was his age. No, he won't, no. Lennox Lewis was also an Olympic gold medalist, though, wasn't he, when he was 23? Yeah, I'm telling you, he's a method to Peter's madness. He's old school. His dad knows what Peter's like. He doesn't yeah. speak. Yeah, but after the first couple of weeks, you were, were all right. You just don't trust people at first, does he, Pete? He's just trusting, isn't he? That's all. All right. All right. I think he talks to me. I'm quite yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't, don't yeah, he does. If he don't message you, he don't want to speak to you. <laughs> he don't. <laughs> that's what. But, but like I said, I, I think people should get off you his back. Hey, listen, I'm first one to criticise people. It's what I'm about, isn't it? I don't like to hear oh, nonsense. That's why, you'll get, that's why you'll get your likes and your views. Yeah. Speak your mind. We don't want nobody talking. If that start telling me now, some of what's not right, go in one ear and out other, and, and I'll think, oh, I don't want to talk to him no more. So I like to talk to him. Yeah. Me what it is, as it is. yeah. Yeah, I mean that's that's why I've got obviously I've got a bit of backing now at channeling nothing, I'm not getting anything out of it. But, you know, we're putting a lot in and, and not getting anything back and it was starting to bother me a bit. I mean, what sort of people are putting money into something and they're losing and they're not making anything, it's counterproductive and now I've got no pressures, I can do this. I can do other things than that and not have to do this and lose money so we don't make out, but it ain't costing me now, if you know what I mean. So I'm happy now, and I'm a bit, a bit more enjoying it a bit more. Because you can feel a bit downtrodden, can't you, with people abusing you on social media. Do you know what yeah, I mean? It can, it. So, it's mentally, isn't it? It can get you mentally. So I've got a girl now dealing with all emails and stuff like that, and she just doesn't send me any disgusting things that we sent. You know what we're getting sent. There's sick people out there, Bunny, isn't there? Yeah, you, you, you've just got to carry on this August, don't let get you there. Nope. So, anyway, listen, I'm going to get off, Bunny. So, all the best, look after yourself. Keep in touch. I'm, I'm up Sheffield on Thursday. So, hopefully, when I come back from up from near where... I'm, I'm near where you live on Thursday, actually. I've got something to do on Thursday up there. I'm going to come and... Uh, I'll come and have a chat. Hopefully, I'll come and have a couple with you. All right? Look forward to it. Alright, you take care and all the best to you and your family, bunny. Take care. See you later, Bye-bye. Right. Uh, uh, that's Bunny Johnson from Sheffield. He went to school with uh, Dennis and Sean Bean, I think, and all them, John Daly and them, so... Alright, so... That's about it, really. So, peace out, keep on trucking, keep supporting boxing. Nice to have a little bit of a chat about boxing and intertwine it with talk about steroids and things like that it's all right then it's so you've got two a part one and part two there bunny johnson so all right so take care